In this video, I'm going to show you a simple route concept that's going to beat every coverage in the game, force your opponent to have to have pretty significantly deep zone drops, but at the same time give you the spacing and just the resources that you literally need to beat any coverage in this game. Now, if you are new to the channel, I would really encourage you to hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that help you become a better Madden player. Also, if you're watching this video, I do want to let you know that we are in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. We're talking today about the trips tight end formation, one of my favorites, if not the best offense in the Madden uh, right now. I think what's really interesting is in Madden 22, we've seen that uh, Jay Wall and Fancy, two people that are very notorious for this offense, several people, uh, in fact, that are notorious for U trips and trips tight end actually moving to the gun bunch and then you also have this kind of new wave of a lot of people that are really thinking the trips tight end is one of the best offenses or is the best offense in this game over the gun bunch and uh the funny part about it all is it's just kind of interesting isn't it um you know both offenses are really 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 good they feature a lot of different resources but i would argue the trips tight end is better than bunch by far because of different things like the blocking. I think you actually get better blocking in this year's game than you've ever gotten from trips tight end with the way PA counter go works, with how important tight ends are in the blocking scheme. There's a lot of benefit to running this offense. That being said, in this video, we're talking today about uh, a concept or a play that I absolutely love called doubles and sale. Very simple route combo, uh, but probably one of my favorites in the game. And honestly, it's been good for years. So really excited to share this with you. So you can come out of any defense that you want. You're going to be able to beat every single defense in the game. Again, the play is doubles and sale. You could actually, if you have a running back apprentice or backfield mismatch or master, you're going to be able to create this or hot route master. You'll be able to create this from any play in the formation, but it is best, you know, from a doubles and sale or PA slot corner. All right. So the setup that we have for this is we're going to streak the triangle receiver we're going to drag the tight end and then we're going to motion the square receiver to the right and we're going to put him on a curl now we want to snap this ball ideally right after he gets to the numbers so kind of right in there if we have this little snap throw to the table route please take that throw please take that throw um this is something that was really good last year and to be honest it's still good this year it's just not not as good and that is that the, you can basically snap, you can throw the ball here with a pass lead up, turn up field quick, and basically truck up field. Now, obviously, Ronald Jones is a little bit different than like a Ricky Williams or, you know, an Adrian Peterson. But, you know, you're still going to be able to hit this. And again, it's real simple. You know, I mean, even if they're playing hard flash, just snap, throw, get it out there. And, you know, take a couple yards. You know, take a couple yards. Real simple. If you don't want to use a table route, that's fine. Just put the running back on an out route. Um, you're going to get just as good of a result. But I love this. I love this concept, man. I really do. I think it's just a simple, uh, simple, you know, concept. You know, and again, if you don't like the other route, then you can just run this. Notice that this curl route, as I got a terrible pass lead from Brady, uh, this curl route is really good for a specific scenario. So a scenario that you're going to see a lot in Madden 22 is double flat coverage. What I mean by that is they're actually going to basically double Mabel. They call Mabel, right? In Madden, they call it Mabel. Uh, but basically, they're going to play a hard flat and a curl flat as opposed to having a hook curl. Well, because there's no hook curl, you're going to see that this curl is going to be wide open. And this is one of the things I really like about this play. It's one of the few plays in this offensive formation that really attacks, and I'm going to show this on defense if you watch my user here, Bledsoe, it attacks this, like, box right here. This little box right here, which is where their user has to cover, right? So the beauty of this is the entirety of the play is really flooding over here. So if I'm a user, I'd rather be over here, right? The problem is I'm going to be stuck over in this area, okay? So let me show you kind of a standard coverage you will see if you run this play. And that is this little double Mabel. So as you can see, double Mabel. And then I'm actually going to use, I'm going to show what it looks like when my user guards the curl route and how this is going to open other things up uh, within this play. So obviously we have our corner route, but the other thing that I've been really liking about this play is if you throw this drag right in there, 
it's really good because you can turn this up field. Drag routes, I think, this year are a little bit underrated, especially from the tight end. I have to admit that I've underrated them myself um, because the yellow zones actually go, they, in my opinion, this year, if you have a vertical hook, he's going to fan out a little bit more. But if you have, let's say you have like a three rec, your three rec is going to play a little bit more over the middle of the field, okay, a little bit more for the shallow crossing game. So here I'm going to put a three rec. Most people will because it does help their sheds. Uh, but what you're going to see here is this three rec. Watch the tight end. You see how they bite down on that. And then I can hit the, the deep corner um, to Chris Godwin. So again, real basic, real simple, right? But this little curl flat sets all of this up. And they're going to have to basically use the corner. The corner is one of those corners like what you get out of the gun bunch. It's a very deep corner. Literally beats everything. Like literally beats everything. The one thing they're going to be able to do if they if they do this is you might get something like a cover two with a you know maybe like a like two hard flats kind of like this, and then obviously they're going to be usering uh, this this little hitch again. It's the same exact basic uh, premise. However, here again and again, guys, we're dropping nine people. Okay, we're it's not it's you know it's it's a it's a you know, again, it's, it's, you know, we're dropping nine people. So it's going to make it a little bit more difficult on the offense, right? For passing, but you get stuff like this. I don't know what just happened. I don't know if I'm, I think I manned him up by mistake, but anyways, um, the idea is that that gets, that's going to force them to do a lot of different things, right? They're going to have to play zone drops. There's a lot of things they're going to have to do, uh, to slow this, this concept down. Now, let me show you this one right here. This is match coverage. Match coverage typically does pretty good against corner routes. Against this one, you're really isolating that safety. And so you're either going to have your tight, like I said, you're either going to have your tight end drag or your corner route. Most of the time, the user is going to have, I mean, again, we're basically forcing the user to have to stay over here on this right side in this hash mark area. So then this opens all this field up over here. And, you know, again, I don't have time because of practice mode, but you see that the the route gets wide open. Let me show you that one more time for sake of, you know, example here. We're going to spy off the rush because the sheds in practice mode are just crazy. But again, what you'll see here with Godwin, he's going to cut. He's going to get isolated. See how that guy takes a false step inside. And then you can hit that to the outside very easily. If you have deep out of lead, if you have route tech, short, I mean, there's a lot of abilities that you can use uh, to get that to light up. Now let's say they just blitz three. Now they're really in trouble because there's truly no one in the middle of the field except their user, right? So now they're gonna have to make a decision. Am I gonna go to the tight end or am I gonna go to the, you know, the curl? So right here, oh, they choose to go to the tight end. Okay, well, we'll step up and we can check it down right there. So this concept really does a lot for you. Now, the other thing that I want you to notice real quickly here, and I'm gonna shift over to cover two to try to illustrate. When you motion the outside receiver, you're going to notice that this cornerback is going to suck inside. This will make 30-yard flats occasionally, not always, but occasionally. They'll actually give this up. And look how deep it runs. I mean, it runs 40 to 45 yards down the field anyway. So, you know, a third, just because they have a 30-yard cloud, it doesn't exactly mean they're going to be able to cover this. Okay, it means they have the best chance possible to cover this. But because we suck that corner in, a lot of times you get this massive amount of outside leverage where you can fit that in on the sideline. So, again, one of my favorite little concepts here, um, you can mix this in with a lot of other stuff that we like to do out of this formation. But, you know, this is just a great little play. You know, again, it's real simple, but and if you want to, you don't have to you don't have to run the table route. OK. I like the table route, but if you don't like it, don't run it. Run something else, right? You could run an out route. You could run a swing. Um, you know, if you wanted, if you wanted to, you could even do something like this. You could put this guy on a smart routed in route backside, and then you could wheel, for example. So it looks, you know, kind of like this right here. Now you have this route coming back. It basically looks like, you know, kind of flood almost. But again, that right there is your main route. Okay. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to learn my, my entire trips tied in, 
offense, I'd really encourage you to join the Patreon. If you're still watching this video, my Patreon has uh, 14 offensive and defensive ebooks available. So if you're looking to take your game to the next level, uh, I would really encourage you to sign up for that. There's a link in the description below where you can go sign up for it. It's just $10 a month. And like I said, for just $10 a month, you're not only going to get access to my Trip Side In ebook, but you're going to get access to every Madden 22 ebook that I've released, both on uh, current gen as well as on next gen. And we've got 14 of them uh, right now for you, as well as exclusive tips, updates that we do pretty much every week. We've got some pro player breakdowns in there. So a lot of good stuff. So if you want to get better at this game, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. There will be a link in the description below where you can do that. So if you're still watching this video, head on down to the description and check out that Patreon membership.